Back in December 1989, something very strange indeed happened in Panama City. While the US troops were raiding the compound belonging to the former dictator Manuel Noriega, they came across a place called Building 152. Inside Building 152, the US troops were amazed to find that the place was covered in all kinds of supernatural and magical paraphernalia. There were pictures of George Bush Sr. at the bottom of jars that had been suspended under candle wax in order to bind him. There were images of various members of the incoming new democratic government of Panama as well as members of the US administration with all kinds of voodoo type implements connected to them. Things like scratched pins through their eyes, suspended in things like wesson and wax. One particular one was Caspar Weinberger who I believe was the US Secretary of State at the time. And what happened to him was that he was put in the bottom of a jar and on top of him nine broken eggs were cracked in there and allowed to rot. This had been Noriega's final attempt to stay in power and keep his corrupt regime going. He turned to witchcraft. He employed a full-time witch from the Panamanian jungle in order to put these courses upon the US and their allies as well as the incoming Panamanian government in order to try and remain in power. But there was one particular artifact that is quite amazing if the stuff I've just told you about isn't amazing enough and that is one of the things the US troops found was an envelope inside a box when they took open the box and removed the envelope they found a cow's tongue that had been folded over and hammered nailed shut into a piece of wood on the other side the cow's tongue had been hammered over into a V-like shape. Some papers. And it was opened up. There was inside there was an image which some have said, according to US Marines on the site, was a picture of the Twin Towers in Lower Manhattan. Noriega had used his witch doctor or his priestess or witch in order to curse New York. For some reason put a picture of the Twin Towers of the World Trade Center on there. Now remember this was December 1989. A few years later there was an attack, a car bombing in the basement of the World Trade Center that killed a few people and caused horrific damage. People by the time believed that that was part of the curse that Manuel Noriega's witch had put upon New York. For some reason the World Trade Center attacks happened in September 2001. This connection between Manuel Noriega had been completely forgotten. And perhaps maybe his witchcraft did work after all. If you read my book Sorcery, you know that magic does actually work. It takes time, sometimes a long time, and it happens in the most poetic manner. Now, among the witchcraft implements also found in Building 152, as I mentioned, was George Bush Sr., in the bottom of a jar with nine broken eggs cracked open on top of them and the eggs allowed to go rancid. Folk tradition of Panama, this magical ritual is to curse the sons and the heirs of the individual. So you're not only cursing George Bush, you're also cursing his children. And lo and behold, it was George Bush Jr. who was President of the United States when the September 11th tax happened in 2001. And Noriega's curse on the United States bound with inside the nailed and folded tongue of a cow apparently came to fruition.